Are you a beginner in calisthenics? Maybe you're new to working out with your body weight. You see all these cool movements, muscle ups, dips, variations of push ups, but because you're new to body weight training, you don't know how to progress to do that because you're not comfortable using your body weight yet. That's where I'm gonna come in with this video. We're gonna use resistance bands to help you progress in calisthenics, to help you reduce your body weight so you can do more movements. I have a great friend of mine, his name is Ari. We call him the Rubber Band Man. He runs a company called Rubber Bandits. They supply the highest quality resistance bands. Check them out, the link is in the bio. We're gonna be using his bands and I'm gonna show you ways to regress workouts so that you can get stronger, again, using your body weight. And I'm gonna show you ways to challenge yourself even more to add more resistance once you're at that level so that you can use these bands to make exercises even harder. Let's dive in. We're starting at square one. You're a beginner, you're using your body weight, and the one thing that people have the most weakness in is pull-ups. You push yourself up off the floor when you get up off the floor, you're always doing push things, but pull is not trained as much as it should be. In order to get better at pull we're gonna take a band, wrap it over the bar, we're gonna pull it through. Now we have the resistance band attached to the bar. This is a medium band. If you need more weight, you can use a thicker one. If you need less, you can use a thinner one. You can also spread the band out, which is gonna make it tighter, less slack, and that will again give us more. From here, I'm gonna step one foot in the band, just one foot, and I'm gonna step down. The other foot, I loop over. The reason I'm not putting both feet in is because I don't wanna get stuck and not be able to get my feet to the ground. From here, I can press my leg into it, if I let it pull my knee up, it's not gonna do any resistance, so I push down into it, and from here, this is helping me get my pull-ups. And what I wanna train while doing this, and what's important for you beginners, is to really build the strength through the full range of motion of the movement. So if you're not strong enough for pull-ups without a band, and this is what I see a lot of people who don't use bands do, they kinda just cheat their reps. They don't have any strength from here in their pull-up to really engaging. So with the band, the goal, full range of motion. And once you've nailed pull-ups, you can do whatever other variation. If you like my headbangers, the bands will help you with that or any other variation. So if you're trying to build a chiseled chest, big shoulders, and you want those jacked triceps, you gotta be doing your dips. In order to help yourself with the dips, you can use a band for these as well. Most people don't know how. You loop it in on one side, and what you're gonna do is put it over here, and you're just gonna put your hand over it. And from here, you can put your knees onto the band, and now, with your hand on that side here, dip down, the band engages, helps you press up. Again, with what you wanna do with this movement, is you really wanna work on that range of motion. Now, a lot of people don't have a lot of mobility in their shoulders, so when they do a dip, they can't come much lower than this. So the band can help you as a beginner, or it can help an expert build more mobility. The band lets you lower, now maybe this is where you normally go, but now with the band, it's helping you with the resistance, taking off some of that body weight, you can start to get a nice stretch and again, work on that mobility all the way up. But we don't just stop here, right? We press all the way through the shoulders. Full range of motion with the dip. Here's a fun one. The dragon flag is a staple calisthenics move. Looks really cool, feels awesome, uses a ton of core strength. Now, if you're not familiar, you hold onto a bar or two bars here and you lift your hips and try to get as low as you can with only your shoulder blades touching. Using a band, we simply hook our ankle in the band and you can put two feet in and you pull down until you feel that band engage. Now from here, the goal is now lift those hips grab with your arms and just try to have your shoulder blades in and hold. Now you're building core strength, you're building stability, and you're working your way up to doing this without the band. All right, so the last exercise that's gonna help you as a beginner to progress is gonna be assisted push-ups. Band goes over a pull-up bar, band goes underneath your waist, and from here, simply lower yourself down and you'll notice you're feeling that pull. Push-ups should be pretty easy. If you're working on explosive push-ups, the band should pull you into those explosive push-ups. If you're working on one-arm push-ups, you could again have the band assist you in one-arm push-ups. If you're working on planche, you could bring your arms back and you could have the band help you hold that tuck planche too. All right, so I just showed you four different exercises as to how resistance bands can assist you. Now I'm gonna show four different exercises how resistance bands can resist you, meaning making exercises even harder. So when you're ready to progress to the next level, this is what you wanna do. Starting with dips, take the band up and over behind your back. Right away, you already feel that resistance. Now when you do the dip, it's gonna be even harder to press 
through that rubber band. So really gonna finish those reps strong. So again, hands through, up and around your neck, and we go and we get reps of dips. All right, now let me show you a resistance ab exercise. I know the majority of you have been waiting for this. Everybody wants abs. Real simple, you can do this from a pull-up bar or you can do this from parallel bars. Get this around your waist. Again, if you're doing it from here, you would have it up here. Here, I'd have it just kind of below my groin, right above my knees, wherever it's gonna kind of stay put. I'm gonna get into support, which means holding yourself here. And from here, I'm gonna do leg raises. Now, the higher the band is, the easier it is. The lower it is, the harder it's gonna be. And you can see that band stretching, forcing my core to compress even harder to get it up. You're not using a platform like this. Tie the band to a dumbbell, have a friend hold it, put it under some sort of weight, plenty of options there. All right, guys, this one is one of my favorites. So whether you're a beginner, whether you're intermediate or expert, you're working up to that one arm pull up, you can use a band to help assist you. I know I've been showing you exercises to resist you to make it harder. This is already too hard of a move, so this is how you would train this. We're gonna do one arm pull-ups with the band looped over the bar, which you can either grab like this, depending how much you need, or you can put your hand here, depending again how strong the resistance is that you need. So what you're noticing is I'm still doing a pull-up. I'm still pulling with both arms. This arm's still doing work, still doing a similar motion, but my right arm's gonna do the majority of the work, and this other arm, I'm gonna focus again on just keeping me, I'm gonna try to stay in position over the right arm, and this is gonna help me. Now, an alternative that you could, with a stronger band, is you could do almost a pull-up and a tricep dip with the other hand. I'm just giving you an example that's extremely difficult, that's next level. Some of you may be there, but if you're not, there's a goal for you to set in the future. All right, so the very last exercise that you can make more difficult, band around your shoulders instead of around your neck, which you will with dips, this one comes around your back. You get down in a push-up position, and now when you're performing your push-ups, it's harder to finish the rep. And most people cheat their reps, they don't come fully up. And I'm always about finishing your reps, good form, full lockouts. This is gonna make that lockout that much harder. So if you train like this, you're gonna be that much stronger. All right, guys, there you have it. A variety of different exercises that you can do, whether beginner, intermediate, or expert, to either use resistance bands to help assist your training or to use resistance bands to resist your training, making exercises even harder. If you need bands, I highly recommend my friend Ari's company. It's called Rubber Bandits. The link is in the bio below. If you're looking for a workout station, a full home gym, this is produced by my company, the Fit App. This is the Fit Home Gym. You can also order one of these. Otherwise, guys, hit that like button, subscribe. Let me know what other topics you want a video on, and I will get that made. As always, I appreciate y'all, and I'll see you on the next one.